This will be a great competition. Um, just like the old times in practice. Mike? Uh, yeah, Malik, I wanted to ask you about the depth on this defensive line. When, when you are as deep as you guys are and you're not playing all the snaps, I see a lot of guys rotating in. What, is, what does that do for you as a defensive lineman when you're able to stay fresh like that? It really just keep me fresh. Keep me fresh for the next play I get ready, the next series I get ready to get in and just give it all I got. Next we'll go to Seth Emerson and Anthony Dasher. Um, Malik, did you play in high school against Stetson? Did your all's teams play? No, sir. Didn't I thought you were all in the same region. Okay, but playing against him over the years, have, have you guys seen this in practice and we're just seeing it in games now? Oh, yeah, most definitely. I remember freshman year, uh, he went like 20 for 20 on us in a practice, so we always knew he was a great quarterback. Uh, hey, Malik, good to see you, man. Uh, ask you just uh, real quick, how much do, do you consider coming out for the NFL draft, and why was it important for you to come back to Georgia for your senior year? Really just important to come back so I can um, get closer to finish and get my degree. And I always felt like and I could just improve as a player and as a man. So it really wasn't a bad deal to come back. I'm really happy that I came back. Next we'll go to Chip Towers and Jake Rowe. Yeah, Malik, uh, uh, can you give us a little bit of a scouting report, you know, on Tennessee's offense and, and, and offensive line and, you know, what's the uh, primary challenge uh, on Saturday? Um, primary challenge really is just to go out there and do our job so we can just compete and get the W. And really, uh, really haven't got time to watch Tennessee O-line yet, but I watched a little bit of their game, their physical O-line. Uh, Malik, I uh, wanted to ask you, so the, the, the defense obviously has plenty of reasons to be confident, but, you know, it, it seems like you guys can get stronger as the game goes along. How, how big of a role does momentum and having some early success play in, in your defensive play? Because it seems like if a team doesn't get you early, it's really tough for them to get you at all. Well, really just um, coming out, being fresh, being ready for the game, getting our mindset on our job and what we got to do. To help the team. Next, we'll go to Connor Riley, then all Ripper. Hey, Malik, I was just wondering, what have your impressions been so far of Jalen Carter, and what has he sort of been able to bring to the defensive line as a freshman? Oh, he bring he bring a lot of depth. And Jalen, he just he a freak all over. I love what he's doing, and I love how he's playing. Uh, hey, Malik, yeah, so. So looking at, looking ahead at Tennessee and especially uh, Jared Gar Garantano, like where, how do you feel like he's improved since you know like these past few years? Just looking at film of him during these first two weeks of the season. Um, he's a he's a really good quarterback. He improved a lot from last year. Next we'll go to Dean Leggy, then Jed May. Hey Malik, how tough is it to stay disciplined? Um, with a quarterback that can be athletic like the guy you saw last week and the guy you see this week in terms of staying in your lane, doing what you're supposed to do on the line, not sort of over-pursuing? Uh, it's very difficult because when guys get that, that open in on like, oh, I'm finna get a sack, I'm finna get a sack, and just split a second, he could be gone. Uh, you really got to be honed in on what you got to do to get the quarterback down. Uh, hey, Malika, uh, it seemed like Bo Nix, you know, was being flushed out of the pocket a lot, you know, due to the pass rush the other night. One, you know, how would you evaluate the job you guys have done rushing the passer through two games so far this year? And two, is there anything maybe different you guys are doing this year as compared to last year in terms of getting after the quarterback? Um, really, we haven't changed nothing from this year to last year. I just feel like we didn't do a good enough job to get Bo Nix down because we missed, we missed, we had a lot of missed opportunities. Next up, we'll go to Brandon Sudge and then Jay Black. Hey, um, Malik, I wanted to um, – so I wanted to ask you about your teammates, uh, Jalen Carter and uh, Jordan uh, Davis, when they go in on that offensive package. Um, have you ever lobbied to go play on offense for a snap? And, uh, what, like, did they ever say anything about getting that opportunity and how if that was cool or anything on their end? 
Um, no, nah, they, they haven't came to Mill by getting any reps on offense, but I feel like Jordan Davis and Dalen Carter do a good job of getting their blocks. Malik, what was the noise level and the atmosphere like playing in front of 20,000 people instead of the usual 90? Oh, I really feel like the whole 93 was in there. Everybody, the whole crowd was loud. They did a good job of getting, um, getting really loud, distracting the offense, offense, offense for us. We'll open it up for the final two questions for Malik. Uh, hey, Malik, I, I wanted to ask you just to follow up on Cade Mays. When you go against a guy like that, you know, is there any sort of maybe advantage uh, strategically you gain from having gone against him in practice for two years? Well, advantage, uh, not really. Um, Kay's a good old lineman. We know, I know that have been going against, against him for about two years, so he'll be a great matchup. Malik, uh, you, can you talk about just the Georgia, the, I guess the, the rap, and I know you said you came back to get closer to graduating, but – just in terms of the, the people saying Georgia can't finish, Georgia can't win a championship. I mean, is that something you and Richard, you know, thought about coming back for your for your senior years instead of going pro to kind of the, the whole finish the job narrative? Is that is that a real thing? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we just want to find ways to get over that hump, just keep going and just pushing everybody to get better, but day by day, just giving all we got.